And we're back, and today it is the Pokemon Mansion that we will be covering. Uh, and I'm I still here. Yeah, Nick's still here. We brought hey. out the shit slave. And, oh yeah, by the way, uh, this may hurt your eyes watching this. So I've just noticed that this video is like 37 minutes long. This is, uh... Yeah, we're in for a long one. Yeah, this is, uh, looking slightly terrifying already. Well, we're also going to be doing the gym, too, so... so it's not just the mansion. Alright. Oh, hey, I found an escape rope. I think it's trying to tell me something. That, that's great, you'll be able to hang yourself with it after this video, right? You found an escape noose! And <laughs> not permanently. God, this place really does hurt your eyes, though. Yeah, just a little bit. This music is uh, starting to mess with me a little bit. I'm going to turn that volume down a little bit. Yeah. I don't blame you. Can't get out. We found this escape rope earlier. The Hamburglar sends out Ninetales. Level 65. Yeah, the, it's funny, too, because the wild Pokemon range from about 65 to 70 in here. So, the trainer here is at the bottom of the... Oh, jeez. How are you even still here, dude? Unless, like, everything here is just grass-type or something instead of what it usually is. No, if I'm not mistaken, for down. the most part, it's wild and... Or it's wildfire... Or... Not wild, but for the most part, the trainers have fire and poison types, I think, and maybe it's, some it's electric types. The same as the original one, right? Yeah, and and some electric types, I think. Um, the scientists, I think, have electric types. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they probably did in the original game anyway. So. They'll watch what I'm completely wrong, and I totally forgot what they have, and they end up having like all Mewtwo's. Oh God. They don't, but... But this is almost... This is the kind of game where you would expect something like that at some point. You know, I'm surprised there isn't a ROM hack where every trainer has, like, level 100 Mewtwo's. E e even Indigo isn't that much of a dick, right? Indigo's not that much of a dick. Indigo is still awful, but... <laughs> but not quite to that extent. And what do we got here? Arcanine. Oh no, it's not level 65 enough. It's like 62 oh. to 65, I think, then. Well, I thought okay, it was I in the 70s. I, like, I thought they were in the right. 70s, but. Well, what do I know? Maybe that's Victory Road or something. No, Victory Road, the trainers are in the 90s. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I wasn't kidding when I said by the time you get to the Elite Four, you have to be level 100. And, and, and I bet that, like, at least the champion is packing all level 100s. The entire Elite Four is packing all level 100s. Oh, God. Also, yeah, Muck. It's, it's a thing that dies real fast. <laughs> yeah, it, it's strange. They try to make it seem like Muck and Weezing are the two counterparts in this gen, because you know how every Pokemon has, like, a yeah. counterpart. But, in reality, Weezing is just vastly superior to Muck in every way. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I guess Muck has a lot of HP, but that doesn't matter when you can just wreck it in one hit, like Turtle Soup is doing. Yeah. Or, with dig, honestly, no like, mess. probably most things could do to it. With, with just Dig, not even Earthquake. I think in this gen, Dig is actually uh, the same power as Earthquake, unless it's been changed for this hack. I thought Earthquake was 100 and Dig was like 90 in Gen 1. No, I think Dig is 100 in Gen 1. And then they dropped it to 60 or something for second gen. And now it's back up to 80. My mentor once lived here. Your mentor is dead. I killed him. Must have been a long time ago, dude, because 
I don't think anybody's lived in this place for like a century. And yeah, I was right, they do have uh, object types. Magnetons, like, like you'd expect out of them, really. Yeah. It's funny Double though, though if this was something a, I would expect. If this was Gen 2 or later, that magneton would have been dead even faster. <laughs> and Starmie, okay. I wasn't expecting. Well, actually, I should have been. Starmie and Executor are the. Uh, Starmie yeah. and Executor are the favorite Pokemon of the hacker. Damn near everybody has one. Yeah. And all the all the executors, the, the stormies, I guess they are good and all, but you get bored after a while and say shit. Well that's what I said and when I was telling this to Matt, I said the problem with this hack is that by the end of the game you're fighting the same like six Pokemon over and over. Yeah. Victory Road, I, I, I mentioned this already, you may as well be fighting the same trainer. Because they all over have the same... And over and over They all have the same six Pokemon. It's absurd. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess it's because they were, like, major favorites in competitive or something. But even then, it's just like, well, that, uh... This that's is what boring. it is. I mean, it, the obvious answer is that because these were the top Pokemon in Gen 1, and with the limitation of yeah. having 151 Pokemon... Obviously, you know. Yeah. It's that's what it's gonna come down to. Also, I think we're actually almost done with this place. Oh Jesus, that's kind of surprising. Yeah, the Pokemon Mansion again. Not all that changed. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, I don't a hundred percent remember what this place is like, but I just know that it's not very changed from uh from what it once was. The, the biggest change is the wild Pokemon and the trainers. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, God. Aww. Although I guess Electrode was the fastest Pokemon at the time. Yeah, and it may actually also... still be. No, but I don't that... think it still is. Uh, I think the fastest is, uh... Well, I mean, I know speed there's, uh, Speedform Deoxys, but... Like, there may be maybe one or two more that are faster than that. Uh, Ninjask is the second fastest. Oh, yeah. Actually, I can probably look this up. This is a 37-minute video. Yeah, you could probably get away with it. <laughs> no, no, everyone in the comments is gonna be, What? He's on Bulbapedia instead of watching the video? Fuck this guy! In the comments? What comments? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking nobody! I don't get no comments! Okay. Go ahead and look this shit up, cause oh, let's look at what this guy has first, please. Gengar, that's respectable. Also, not what I was expecting. Oh god, of course they're gonna give it hypnosis. Thank God I used Dig, and thank God this doesn't have levitate. Yep. Yeah. Oh hey, Lapras. Alright, yeah, Speed Form Deoxys is uh, still the fastest thing at like 180. Ninjask is, be is just below that. And then there's Excelgur and uh, a couple other Megas that are faster than Electrode, but Electrode is still pretty goddamn fast. Like what, top 10, top 15? Uh, top 10, even if you count the Megas and uh, Deoxys normal in attack form. Hmm. I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Ten. Huh, well there you go. You learn but something new every day. Yep, definitely the fastest thing in first gen. So I guess that explosion is like a twenty percent chance of critting, which is pretty goddamn terrifying. Yeah, but even still, Electrode is probably the worst user of explosion, so. Yeah, fifty attack. That thing is still, you know, not as bad as it could be. Yeah, it's not like we're dealing with, like... Golem. Golem, or, or in future gens, like a Rampardos. Oh god, Rampardos with explosions would just be, oh, fucking Jesus, why? You know, it's funny, the people on the Brywell forums like this series. I've noticed. 
Yeah. Like, you definitely got replies about, yeah, it's back when the the most recent episode went off. Or, second most recent. The first one you did with me. With Matt. Damn it, John. Matt, happy to return. Trying to send me messages while I'm recording. Look how professional I am talking about what I'm getting <laughs> on Skype. Whatever, it's a 37 minute video, nobody's gonna give a shit. Yeah, I don't know if they're even watching this. <laughs> yeah, e even if you had a viewer base, it'd just be like, yeah, it's fine. I, I do I have understand. I do have a viewer base. Um it's just tiny. Right? I have I, I'm actually getting close to a thousand subs, but the, but the problem is that uh most of my viewers tend to not comment. Because I talk yeah, to because I, I talk to most of them. most of my uh my serious viewers I talk to on Skype anyway. Yeah, so what need do they have to comment at that point? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that really hurts my eyes. Oh yeah, this is uh doing something to me. Uh, like it's not horrible or anything. It's not like well, causing Charizard. any real pain. It's just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that, that, that'll break up the uh, fucking squares a little bit for a second. Well, it's even worse because I'm using the the Super Game Boy colors. If I was just yeah. the black and white, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that's true. The, the the red is a little bit extreme on the the Super Game Boy colors for this. Yeah. Also, for some reason, I just like the uh, the the way the messages are set up for the switches on the the statues. Hmm. Like it's a little bit weird, I guess. I don't know. Just because it's. Uh, I can't think of the right words. That's true. But I guess just in general, it's really different. That it's like, who wouldn't press this? Or, don't press it quite yet, or something. I... Well, I'm reminded of that one episode of Ren and Stimpy where the guy was, like, egging Stimpy on to press the button that would end the universe. The jolly candy-like button! <laughs> you gotta press it! Why wouldn't you press it? Then forever, but I have it on DVD, so maybe I'll watch that later today. I actually had the uh, the complete series of the Critic on DVD. I don't know where the hell that went to. But that was a good series. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find it around eventually. I can always find the episodes on YouTube. Also, That's true. yeah, Dick Move Hacker locking me in once I get the switch to get the goddamn key. Yeah, j just so you can fight a couple more wild Pokemon or waste another repel or something. Yep. Game design. But thankfully, I have every- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did you see- <laughs> <laughs> You really? fucker! Oh, God. Not changed too much, but changed where it counts. Changed just enough to be really shitty. Changed enough to just be rude. Yep. I mean, that's not even difficult. That's just rude. Another good description for this ROM hack. Rude. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is fairly accurate. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you just wanted to use up your repel a little bit. Yeah, I guess so. But we're finally done with the Pokemon Mansion. That wasn't too oh. bad. But it's gym time now! Oh, jeez. There's, uh... There's still, like, 20 minutes. How terrible is this gym, is the question. Is it about... It's probably about the same, but... It's about the same, just higher-level Pokemon. Gotcha. And... I think the Emily Outs didn't change very much, right? Uh, yeah, the layout I don't think has changed all too much. And I'm not using the quiz machines, I'm just gonna fight everybody, so... No, that's understandable, just beat the living shit out of everybody, because it's easier. And then I lie. <laughs> 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 I 
I think I actually got everything wrong on purpose. That's okay. That's one of those weird ones that's not directly true. Because it falls in a metapod first, motherfucker. That triggered me. I'm only kidding. <laughs> hey, Jolteon. You again. You yeah, son of a bitch. That thing is fucking fast. And yeah, we're now moving up to Pokemon in the 70s for the gym. That's about what I expected. So it's probably gonna be 80s for, uh, for Giovanni's gym. Yep. Right? Because I know you already said 90s for Victory Road and max level for the Elite Four. Mm -hmm. th th this guy just has all, all three of the evolutions, doesn't he? Uh, probably. It's been so long since I've actually looked at oh. this footage. Gotcha. This is back when you could get away with that on one trainer. Back before fourth gen. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dig! Break his legs! Break his legs indeed! Of course, as you may know, if you read my uh, top 10 Pokemon of Gen 1, but I did add Doug Trio. Oh yeah, Doug Trio is great. Not so much in future gens, but in Gen yeah. 1, Doug Trio. What? Oh, okay. It just is a little bit slow moving, uh, fixing things. And there's also a couple other trainers here. Well, there's always a couple of trainers outside of the, uh... The quizzes. I must have forgotten about that. There's like two that you could fight that have nothing to do with the quizzes. Uh, that yeah, was true just a the very original. small number. And yeah, I, like I said, I don't remember that. I have not played these games in years. But yeah, throwing electric types on just to throw you off. Yeah. Electric types that just have explosion. You know what's funny? I don't know if you remember this, but uh, early on in the game, I caught... Uh, I think I caught a Voltorb, because I was trying to get something that knew Flash, yeah. or that could learn Flash, and... The it, entire... only had it only, it had, only explosion. had explosion. It only had explosion, it could not learn anything else, right? It only had explosion and self-destruct. I think explosion, <laughs> self-destruct, thunder wave, and something else, I forget. <laughs> but basically, everything to be a dick. I do remember, at least at one point, seeing a, a Geodude that only had self-destruct at, like, level 6 or something, or whatever level you catch that thing at early in the game. Yeah. Really? Fucking Executor. So, oh, man. It, Executor looks so goofy in the first generation. I mean, it kind of does later on, too, but... In this one especially, just because it's so disproportionate and the faces are drawn in an interesting style, let's put it that way. Yeah. Man, there's only been one Fire-type Pokemon in this entire gym. That's it there. So far, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is exactly what you, uh... Too, yeah, I, this at this point thing. I stopped with the machines. I just wanted to show it off. Yeah. That they still just, work. Just show it off the ones. Yeah. And of course you and of course you show off like one of the least interesting ones. You don't show off the one that's like TM28 is Tombstoner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially <laughs> since I'm a wrestling fan, I'm surprised they didn't show it off at all. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Because I'm Brock Lesnar to this game's Undertaker, goddammit. <laughs> I'm ending this game's fucking streak. <laughs> also a golem. Golem looks pretty goofy too. Golem looks like he's holding up suspenders. Good old Larry King there, right? He's the mayor of the rock Pokemon town. 
<laughs> Mayor Golem! Uh, I, I can accept it. Golem is pretty alright, actually, as a Pokemon. Not competitively. Yeah, it's definitely fallen off competitively. I know it used to be uh, reasonably widely used in first gen because Rock also, type was fuck you, Cloister. Fucking Cloister. Uh, fuck, I'm bringing out Steve. I don't give a fuck what you bring out. <laughs> Snorlax. And it lets you switch again. And yeah, there isn't really a whole lot on your team that would be really great against Snorlax compared to anything else. Yeah, because there's really no justification for having a fighting type in Gen 1. Yeah. Then there aren't really a lot of fighting type moves that you can get on a most Pokemon that, anywhere. That's what, that, yeah, anything. that's what I'm saying. There's really no yeah. justification. Yeah, I think that like the only fighting type TMs are gimmicky shit like Seismic Toss or Counter or something. Yeah, and Counter only works on normal and, uh, Lightning types, I think. Yeah. Which is really fucking shitty. Yeah. That's just... That's dumb. Very dumb. Then we get to the boring part. Healing! Yep. Give me a case of the yawns. It's just not much to say here either. I just like using fire Pokemon. How much you wanna bet he has none? <laughs> or like only one. Well he's got five spots. Well he's got a Flareon! He proved me wrong before I could even say anything. I was gonna say he's got five spots and not have a single fire type. Yeah, well, it's not gonna do him any good. Yep. Just gonna get its legs broken. The Crippler, Mr. Dig. <laughs> that, that's another name nice. I keep giving it, the Crippler. <laughs> oh, hey, an Arcanine. Okay, so this guy is gonna have a bunch of fire types. He's actually gonna live up to his uh, little introduction there. It's a shame they're all gonna be wheelchair bound. Yep, yep. A tentacle. God that's... damn it. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Dig still works. Oh, Tiger that's Tentacle. True. I gotta talk like, oh god, he's gonna hit me with an earthquake. I just got out of the hospital, god damn it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I disapprove of your earthquake, but it's still gonna kill me. <laughs> tentacle. They need, to br they need to bring that pose back. Yes, they, they really do. You know what? If anybody's out there who is a good at drawing, I want you to draw a picture of me standing next to Angry Tentacruel doing that pose. <laughs> Just... Hmm. I don't like this very much. <laughs> Actually, I use Tentacruel on my poison team. Tentacruel is the fucking shit. Tentacruel is great. You know, this guy didn't have, like, all fire types, like, I almost was expecting there. But they were all weak to Earthquake. Everything he had was cripple fodder. Yep. Actually, uh, I bet by this point, Mr. Dig could outspeed most of those electrodes from earlier. Yeah, I think so. I get one of those max elixirs. I still think it's ridiculous it's... that I even have all that many max elixirs. <laughs> they gotta give you something in this game, right? But, no. Okay, maybe they don't have no. to. I mean, come on, it's a difficulty hack. Be at least a little consistent. I mean, did I can you understand. Like, just pick them up or something, or did you have to buy them? Or... I, I, I got them in the freaking Celadon Mart. For free! Oh yeah, cause... I don't, um, I don't mind having the max elixirs in the mart, but program them to have a price! Yeah, yeah, that's... yeah. The fact that I could stock up on a full inventory of 99 max elixirs. Yeah. 
N n nice job there, buddy. And again, I'm pretty sure that even with the speed reduction from paralysis, Mr. Dig would have been faster than slow, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of slow bro's thing, is that it's slow. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, it was the slowest Pokemon in Gen 1. Uh, actually, I can go look that up again. <laughs> again, 37-minute video, even if there's, like, only 15 minutes left or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, close to... Well, we're just fighting yeah. trainers, so it ain't like it's anything yeah. particularly groundbreaking. Same six Pokemon, etc., etc. We're gonna make coconuts extinct by the end of this uh, series. And a Vaporeon. No real reason for it to have for him to have that, but okay. I love that I could just spam Earthquake, and it's just like not even an issue. Oh wow, Vaporeon actually lives and it's doing Hydro Pump. Impressed? Mm. Yeah, Slowbro was man. tied for the slowest fully evolved Pokemon in uh, in first generation. With what? With Snorlax and Lickitung. Huh. And what's the slowest overall, Slowpoke? Uh, in first gen, yeah, Slowpoke is still slower. 15 compared to 30. Now, what's the slowest overall? The current slowest overall is Shuckle at 5, which is tied with Munchlax. So, basically about what you'd expect. Yeah. Shuckle, which does absolutely nothing except have high defense. Yeah, but you can still do a fair bit with it. Yeah. I'm sure it can learn, like, Seismic Toss or something. Um, I've seen, I've seen people use, like, Infest and Toxic and just utter wallet. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty pretty cool then. Here I am underestimating the piece of shit. <laughs> As I keep calling it a piece of shit. It also has um power trick. Oh yeah. I I if you like gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it can also it also has that one move, uh there's power trick and then there's the other one. Where, uh... Actually, it could be Patrick. I don't know if I'm just getting the name wrong. It has both the move where it switches the attack stat with the defense stat, and the move where it takes the average attack stat of... of itself and the other Pokemon, and, you know, and... I, I think that is, uh, Power Swap or something. I will go check that in just a second. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm fighting Hypnos. Fighting Fuck Abra's little brother here. In our fire gym. Because everything needs to have Thunder Wave. Yep. Yeah, Power Trick is the one that switches its attack and defense. I was thinking of Power Split. There's no such thing as Power Swap. I'm just... You know, a little out of it then. <laughs> But yeah, I guess you could do that. I mean, you know, just completely break another Pokemon's arms or something. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for how kind of tedious this is. But oh, it can't be helped. That's part of the game. Yeah. Hopefully, we're fighting Blaine soon. Uh, we should be. Yeah. Yeah, we've got, like, seven minutes left of video, so, uh, yeah. And I think I'm gonna have to but I guess the Pokemon Mansion was so short that you couldn't really have it as its own video, right? It's only, like, 12 minutes that took us. Yeah, it would have been too short. Although I suppose what I could have done was, uh... Oh, no. No, that would have been too long, too. <laughs> I was gonna say I could combine the Seafoam Islands video with that, with the Pokemon Mansion, but that would yeah, have been too short. Or that would have been too long, I should say. Yeah, that would have been like, like, About the same as this. the length of this thing, yeah. So, I had no choice, essentially. And I don't like giving videos that are under 20 minutes if I can help it. 
Yeah, that's understandable. The, uh... The shortest the video I have, uh... I think I actually kept the length of the route to back to Pal or back to Viridian City from from Cinnabar, and that was about 18 yeah. minutes. Yeah, I think one of the early videos was like pretty short, but I could be wrong. They might have been, but I also wanted to get these done and out of the way. Yeah, that, that's okay. <laughs> trying, oh, trying to break my exit. legs. Okay, Mr. Dick doesn't have any legs. Although I guess none of this Snorlax, he just has feet. Short it's like legs. hiding under its fat. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. That Snorlax looks the way I feel. <laughs> okay, the freaking executor. The one in the middle looks like he found lost treasure. <laughs> the one on the good. left, the one on the lo on the left looks spooked out. Like, oh god, what's going on, man? Yeah. He almost looks like the cops are on his trail because he's like in a drug ring. <laughs> and the one on the right is like, what's going on over here? I'm kind of curious. And the, one, and the one on the right has been buying drugs, and the one on the left. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, somebody likes that stun spore. <laughs> and their sleep powder. Or is poison powder a euphemism for cocaine? Oh, it, it very well could be. Oh. Yeah, I cheated, fainted. It's time to bring in the soup. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I figured Turtle Soup was fast enough to, uh, outspeed Exegidor. Even if they... Even if you weren't ten levels higher. Yeah, by the time I was done with this game, I hated Exegidor. Eh, fucking coconuts. I think Blaine is in the next room, but I don't 100% remember. Uh, he should be. I don't know why I'm bothering to revive you. I'm not going to use you when I fight Blaine, I don't think. It never hurts to have preserves. In case he has an Executor also, for some reason. All Executors. All, <laughs> all day, every day. You thought this was a fire chip, but... <laughs> you... Oh, oh, I forgot Blaine was a fucking fat slob in this game. Blaine looks like the stereotypical, like, drunken, deadbeat dad in the wife beater. And yet, amazingly, has the, the most insane workout ever because it lasts five seconds and then he's, like, super thin and bony. Yeah. I, I, I've also heard somebody say he looks like a dog in his overworld sprite. See, and I, I don't remember who that was, but... Whenever I think of Blaine's Overworld Sprite, I think of Carl from Aqua Teen. <laughs> yeah, so far, he actually has all fire types. And they're all gonna get crippled. Yep. Mr. Dig, uh, just gonna go ahead and steamroll this, uh... This guy, he's, he's making, like, Dio here. It's the rapper dash 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 And it's gonna get its legs broken. That poor fan club guy, he must hate me after all the rapidashes I've killed. <laughs> eh, he'll get over it. Well, he's always got pictures. That's true. Oh, hey, Magmar. Remember when the anime actually tried to make Magmar seem like a threatening Pokemon? That was, yeah. like, on par with Charizard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. nobody believed that. Oh, the anime. The anime was, uh, special. Oh, hey, Charizard. Speaking I'm of not, Charizard. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I've always had this weird soft spot for Magmar, but eh. I don't know. Magmortar's pretty good. Magmortar is pretty badass. I will, I will give that easily. What do you got? Oh. Chance. Remember what I said about the birds? Yeah. I'm not sure why I didn't see that coming. Not that it's an actual threat. Yep, looks like he just got rocked, so, you know. Damn it, defeated Blaine! I have burned out. You have earned the volcano badge. Damn it, gotten a lot of money. And now he's back to his, uh, overworld sprite. The goofy looking fucking thing that it is. Carl. <laughs> Carl. You got Fire Blast, which would I already be had. great if Charizard didn't already have it. I would have rather he gave me Flamethrower. Yeah, but I don't think it was a TM at this point. No, it so wasn't, like, but I wish the hacker would have yeah. just made it one anyway. Yeah, because it's a better move. And... More reliable. Yeah. But anyway, we are finally done with this gym. Yep, we're next... done fighting Dr. Robotnik before he had his sweet-ass mustache. By the way, next time, we are going to head back to Viridian City to try and get our 8th badge, and then soon it will be time for Victory Road. By the way, until next time, thanks Nick Hopefully for being on. Be... <laughs> no problem. Hopefully there will be fewer maps with just shitloads of random cut bushes everywhere. Yeah, but until next time, take care. See ya!